Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This session I shall be explaining you a numerical on fixed size partitioning. So in the previous session we have seen the different two types of memory allocation methods contiguous and non-contiguous and in the contiguous method we have seen there are two uh, different types one is the fixed size partitioning and another is the numerical size part sorry the another is the variable size partitioning. So in the fixed size partitioning a numerical can be asked for 7 to 8 marks the question will be like this given below a memory scenario so this is the memory scenario that is given in the problem statement. Use the first fit, best fit and worst fit to place processes of 357, 210, 468 and 491 KB. So, four processes you need to place here in this given memory scenario. But how are you going to place? You have to make use of the first fit algorithm, the best fit algorithm and the worst fit algorithm. And what are these algorithms? Just to tell you in very simpler words, I have written two important points here for each of the algorithm. You have to apply this and then allocate the processes in the memory. First fit says that allocate the first hole or the partition. Galvin is making use of the word hole here. Whatever is this partition, no? for that he makes use of the word hole. Other books you can see the word partition. So, both means the same. Now, here first partition that is big enough. From this a given memory scenario or given are the different partitions you have to select the very first partition that can hold the process and for that you have to start searching from the beginning definitely you have to start from start searching from the beginning only or where the previous search ended so this you will learn once you carry out a numerical it will be more clear to you all then be best fit says that you have to make use of the memory very efficiently that means you are going to search a partition to fit a process which can take exactly the same size or more or less very less leftover space is there in the partition. Worst fit and for the best fit also you have to search the entire list and worst fit says that allocate the largest partition and the entire list has to be searched. So whichever is the largest partition available first you use that partition to allocate the process. Given here in the problem statement are four processes. So you have to make use of these algorithms k okay, one by one and see that whether you are able to allocate space in the memory for all these four processes. So first thing is you try to make use of the very first algorithm. Let me write it in red ink here. The first case, this whatever is given in the problem, the same thing diagram, I will use it for the first fit algorithm. So first fit says that try to make use of the allocate the first partition that is big enough. P1 says a P1 process is 357. You cannot accommodate here. The next 400 is available, which you can easily accommodate here. So P1 will get accommodated here. But at the same time, P1 is having some leftover space. The reason is P1 is 357 and the partition space is 400 KB. So there definitely there will be some space remaining here. And that space is equal to how much? When you subtract 357 from 400, you will get 43. 43 is the then next you see, so you have accommodated P1, P2 is 210, definitely you cannot place it here, then P2 you can place it here also, because you are making use of the first fit, whichever partition you can hold that process, make use of it. So definitely you will make P2 here only, because it can get accommodated very well. Then as you see that the process size is 210 only, so definitely there is a leftover space, that too more leftover space is there in this case. How much it will be 600 minus of 600 minus of 210 so sorry 600 minus of what is the process size 210 only so the 390 is the space okay this is a very huge space 390 kb is so everywhere i'm just avoiding uh, writing kb all these process size are in kb only you can assume it i need space here that's the reason i'm just writing the numbers Next, you, you have to allocate P3. P3 is 468. Whether you can accommodate here? Yes, you can accommodate in the. So, this is the first partition that is available for you to fit that process because 200, you cannot accommodate 468. So, you will go for this. Okay. But what will be the leftover space in this? 468 is there. You have 500. So, 500 minus 468 is 32. Okay this is getting accommodated. What about P4, 491 KB, can you accommodate here? No, 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 because see this is completely one partition, let me make it, this is the second one, this is the third one, this is the fourth and this is the fifth. So here you have three partitions vacant, but you are not able to accommodate 491. So that is what we call it as 
external fragmentation and also in the problem statement they have asked you to determine the total internal and external fragmentation in each case means in the first fit how much is the total internal fragmentation how much in every partition whatever is the leftover space you add up that okay that gives you the total internal fragmentation leftover space that is internal to a uh, partition becomes the internal fragmentation so here how much it is 43 plus 390 plus 32 totally you are going to get this much 43 plus uh, 43 plus 390 plus 32 465 kb is the total internal partition total internal fragmentation now what about a total external fragmentation and uh, hope you remember what is what uh, external fragmentation means external fragmentation is you have enough space in the memory but still you are not able to accommodate the memo uh, process the reason is what the space is not contiguous so p4 size is 491 and you can see how much space is there one is 200 uh, partition one partition is of 200 300 250 so enough 750 no yes 5 6 750 kb is there okay 750 space is there available in the memory but you are not able to accommodate the fourth process which is having what the size of 491 kb so now the value for external fragmentation is always the size of the process which you are not able to accommodate that means this was the request from p4 no 491 so that becomes the value for your external fragmentation most of the students make a mistake here by writing 750 750 is the available space but you are not able to accommodate this process so here always remember this is what is the external fragmentation so this way you have carried out using the first fit by uh, allocating the different processes but before you are not able to allocate using the first fit let us see whether in the second case best fit what it is going to show us this result the allocation results so definitely you have to write the diagram again only because you have to carry out the second case here and the second case is, case is what best fit so your job is first to write down as it is the given memory partitions so that it becomes easy also for you all to maintain the yeah, calc uh, demonstrate the internal and external fragmentation also okay i have written down the partition sizes now now let me apply what the best fit algorithm best fit algorithm read the sentence allocate the smallest partition that is big enough as i said economically you have to make use of the memory here so start seeing that uh, 357 so i'll just erase the previous okay p1 is how much 357 357 will not fit here definitely it is 200 but you have what 400 600 500 300 it cannot fit into 300 it cannot fit into 250 also only uh, three partitions are there out of these three you can make use of one which one will you use the nearest which can that means you want a very less leftover space in the partition this will give more space leftover this will also give leftover space more let us take this 400 so p1 is how much p1 is 357 but still this is also having some leftover space how much is the le leftover space 400 here and p1 is 357 so the leftover space will be 43 in this case what about p2 can you accommodate yes definitely you can accommodate p2 but which one will you take this you cannot make use of this will be too big this also is big this is also so this will be most suitable for p2 because you are getting very less less leftover space in this okay how much uh, i think yeah 210 no 250 minus 210 is how much 40 40 kb is spent so this is one partition okay p3 is 468 468 now you cannot accommodate here and here these two are there for you you can use this one this one will give you very less p3 how much is the size 468 or 500 minus 468 becomes 32 so you have a leftover space of 32 fine so this way you can see that best fit oh, okay there is one more process p4 is 491 so p4 you can accommodate here definitely because this will not at all fit 491 is bigger so you will place it here p4 and p4 is also resulting some leftover space in this partition how much it will be 600 minus 491 is going to give you how much 109 so these are the leftover spaces in each of the partitions so that becomes your total internal fragmentation
total internal fragmentation is equal to 43 plus 109 plus 32 plus 40 add up these numbers so what will you get when you add these numbers 43 109 32 40 224 kb what about external fragmentation there is no question of external fragmentation here because you are able to accommodate all the four processes so you can write down external fragmentation is nil what about the third one now you have to carry out what you have to apply the worst fit algorithm here for the given memory scenario so your job is what once again as I said every time you have to first sketch this memory scenario show the different given partitions given where 200 400 600 500 300 200 these were the 250 sorry these were the given partitions now apply the worst fit algorithm what does worst fit algorithm says allocate the largest partition so you are going to make use of the largest partition here for this also you have to search the entire list you will allocate first you will search the entire list you will allocate the process p1 then once again you search the entire list you pro allocate the process p2 this way you have to carry out now look here what is happening in uh, worst fit allocate the largest partition out of all these given six uh, 600 is the largest partition so you will write here p1 and p1 is 357 this is also leading to what some internal space leftover space and what is that size of the leftover space 600 minus of 357 kb when you subtract 600 when you subtract 357 from 600 you will get 243 243 is the leftover space what about next process p2 largest partition you can accommodate here is um, yeah 500 is the largest so you will write here okay p2 and this partition is also giving some remaining space how much it is 500 minus 210 it is 390 okay so this partition has also resulted in internal fragmentation third is 468 look there 468 is the size 200 400 300 250 all these are smaller to 468 you cannot accommodate next is p4 491 491 491 4 all these four partitions are smaller than 491 you cannot accommodate so in the worst fit what has happened is you are able to accommodate only two process p3 and p4 you are not able to accommodate look at the available space uh, here you have totally 200 the next is also not at all used 400 300 250 this much is your available space 1150 okay but what are the two processes request you which you did not satisfy 468 and 491 951 959 959 kb is the total space needed available space is 1150 look here only you require 959 kb out of these two processes but available space is more than that how much 1150 but still you are not able to accommodate because it is not in contiguous manner this technique is what all about contiguous memory allocation the space should be uh, in a contiguous manner so that you are able to fit that process in that partition now here you cannot accommodate first calculate the total internal fragmentation total internal fragmentation is how much 243 plus 390 okay and total external fragmentation is as i said it is always the size of the processes not the available space for external fragmentation how much you are getting 1150 kb is the total external fragmentation whereas total internal fragmentation came to 533 kb so this example you can solve it very simple also you will be able to score 7 to 8 marks easily moreover you what is your opinion about the algorithm in this uh, this is what fixed size I should write the heading sorry I have written only partitioning fixed size partitioning using the fixed size partitioning you are applying these three algorithms first fit best fit and worst fit to get these results here one thing if you notice best fit the word best okay is justifying here you are able to accommodate all the four processes in case of fixed size partitioning it is giving the best so this best fit performs best here and worst fit is performing as the name goes worst fit is performing worst in case of 
fixed size partitioning. So, here uh, in the next uh, uh, type of memory allocation which is uh, variable size partitioning there you have to see whether the best fit will perform best or the worst fit will, worst fit will perform the best. So, that is the next session. So, hope this session is uh, clear to you all and if you will find this session useful please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.